Good morning. Here's Rebecca from Yoga B. As you can see, I'm teaching today from the home office. Um, I'd like to teach a class called Yoga in Times of Turbulence. So our current situation has forced us to change our lifestyles, practice from home, teach from home. Um, this is a form of external turbulence, but life is full of turbulence, has been my experience. And turbulence comes in many forms, external, in the form of weather, disease, um, but also internal turbulence, thoughts, emotions. So at any rate, the class today is yoga for times of turbulence. It's a calming and slow class that we'll do today. You can do this practice in the morning if you'd like to help ground yourself throughout the day. It also can be done in the evenings if you're having a hard time falling asleep. This uh, can help enable a more restful sleep. So we'll start in sitting with a short meditation and giving thanks and then we'll move through a number of postures to help alleviate tension in the neck and shoulders um, but also then in the hips and the psoas region um, and then we'll conclude with some basic breathing work and a guided savasana final relaxation. Thank you for joining me. So if you'll please come to a comfortable seated position. I'm using my yoga mat today, but if you don't have one at home, this practice can be done anywhere on your carpet. You can put a towel out, um, whatever. I'm sitting on a blanket. You can use whatever you have at home. And then if you'll just start by bringing the hands right behind where you're sitting and lifting the heart, creating space in the front of the body as you roll the shoulders away from the ears. And then gently bow the head and slowly roll the head from one side to the next as you continue to roll the shoulders away from the ears. Breath is deep in and out of the nose. And then slowly returning the head back to the middle with the next inhalation, roll the head up, chin parallel to earth, and exhale, closing the eyes, bring the hands to rest on the knees. And then starting here with the sit bones, feel as they sink down as if you're plugging in to the earth. And then at the same time, imagine the pelvic floor as if it were a tent lifting up and into the body. Allow the spine to grow tall and the shoulders to soften away from the ears. Breath remains deep in and out of the nose. Release and relax the eyes, the space between the eyes, eyebrows, forehead, temples and jaw, the entire face. soft and relaxed. With the next inhalation, lift again the heart away from the navel. And as you exhale, continue to soften the shoulders away from the ears. Release and relax the hips, allowing the knees to perhaps sink a bit deeper towards the earth. And then if you'll bring your awareness, your attention to the breath, as it flows in and out of the nose, trying to stay with the full and complete inhalation. A small pause between the inhalation and the exhalation. Full and complete exhalation.
And again, the small pause between the exhalation and the next inhalation. And as soon as you should notice that the thoughts begun to wander, or your mind has begun to wander, and you've started to think about something else, which will happen. And just notice this. Perhaps even labeling the thinking as thinking. And then return again and again to the breath. We'll sit together for just a couple of minutes in silence just about a minute, but if you'd like to stay longer, you can always pause the video and then continue with the rest of the practice as you're ready. And then if you'll bring the hands together in front of the heart, Anjali Mudra. And take a moment here to cultivate a sense of gratitude. To feel thankful for all that you have in your life. Your current state of health and well-being. The love and support of friends, family. That you always have enough to eat, to drink, warm place to sleep at night. Let's take a moment to contemplate the many people and opportunities in your life. And to feel thankful for what you have. And then releasing the hands back to the knees. Once again, roll the shoulders away from the ears. And again, slowly bow the head. And once again, slowly roll the head from one side to the next. As you continue to roll the shoulders away from the ears. Breath remains deep in and out of the nose. And then slowly returning the head back. To the middle with the next inhalation, roll the head up, chin parallel to earth, the eyes gently open. With the next inhalation, take the hands overhead, interlacing the thumbs, extend the fingertips towards the sky. See if you can lengthen through the arms, and then at the same time, release the shoulders back down into place. Inhale, taking the fingertips just a bit higher now, and then exhale, releasing the hands, interlace fingers behind the back. The next inhalation, lift the hands up and away from the body, lifting the heart away from the navel. And then with the next exhalation, again bow the head and slowly roll the head again from one side to the next as you continue to lift the hands and arms up and away from the body. Breath remains deep in and out of the nose. 
And then slowly returning the head back to the middle with the next inhalation. Roll the head up and exhale, release the hands. Inhale, taking the right hand overhead. Exhale, bringing hand to left ear, extending the left hand towards the earth. And then feeling the sit bones as they continue to sink down, pressing into the earth. Still imagining the pelvic floor as if it were a tent, lifting up and into the body. Inhale, taking the hand overhead, and exhale, release. Inhale, left hand overhead. Exhale, hand to right ear, again extending the right hand towards the earth. Continue to listen to the sound, the rhythm of the breath. See if maybe you can release and relax the hips a bit more, align the knees to sink deeper towards the earth. Inhale, taking the hand overhead, and exhale, release. Inhale, right arm, 90 degrees. Exhale, wrapping the left hand under and around, and then bring the hands, the fingers together as much as possible. Breathing in, lift the hands up, and then move them forward, away from the face. And then here you can drop the chin just slightly towards the breastbone, so the back of the neck is long, free of folds. And then try to breathe here now to the area right between the shoulder blades. Inhale, taking the elbows a bit higher now, and then exhale, release. Inhale, left arm 90 degrees. Exhale, right hand wraps up and around, bringing hands, fingers together as much as possible. Breathing in with the hands up, and then again, take them forward, away from the face. Again, dropping the chin just slightly towards the breastbone. Continue to breathe deeply to the area between the shoulder blades. Inhale, taking the elbows a bit higher now, and then exhale, release. And then we'll move over the knees and come to a four-handed position. So placing the knees right underneath the hips. Fingers are separated. Bring the index fingers parallel to the long side of the mat. Inhale, lifting the heart. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Inhale, heart looking to the nose. Exhale, rounding through the spine, looking to the belly button. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, shoulder blades high to the sky, and then inhale, parallel to earth, exhale, sliding the left shoulder through, and with the next inhalation, take the right hand overhead, drawing the lower abdomen in, breathe here into the back. As you breathe in, create length, moving the heart away from the navel. And as you breathe out, rotating the heart more and more towards the sky. If you can, turn the head and look towards the thumb. Alternatively, you can bend the elbow and grasp the lower, leg, the lower back or the left leg. Or use the fingertips to press up off of the earth. Whatever works the best for you today. Inhale, sending arm overhead. And then exhale, release the hand. Inhale, we'll come up forehead in position. And exhale, sliding through second side. Taking your variation with the arm extended or the arm bent or using the fingertips, whatever works the best for you today. Continue to draw the lower abdomen in. Breathing into the back as you breathe in, create length. And as you breathe out, rotating the heart more and more towards the sky. Again, if you can, look up towards the thumb or towards the ceiling. Inhale, sending head overhead, and then exhale, releasing the hand. Inhale, we'll come up four-handed position, and then exhale, sitting back on the heels, we'll come to extended child's posture. Walk your hands further away from the body, lengthening through the spine, separating through the fingers, ground through the, the bowl of the index finger and the thumb. Stretching through the arms, roll the shoulders away from the ears and then allow the forehead to rest upon the earth or maybe you have a block nearby. If not, books are a good, a good thing to use in this case. Whatever works the best at this moment. 
and then lengthen through the spine, sending the sit bones back towards the wall behind you. Lengthening here, we'll begin to breathe now with the ujjayi breath, the breath with sound. So simply begin to breathe deeper in and out of the nose so that you can hear your breath. It may sound like wind, maybe a deep sea diver. And again, see if you can stay right with the breath, watching the full and complete inhalation. The small pause between the inhalation and the exhalation. Full and complete exhalation. And again, the small pause between the exhalation and the next inhalation. And again here, at any time you should notice that you've started to think about something else, you're no longer with the breath. And just notice this and return again and again to the breath. You can soften the arms, bringing the elbows to the earth, following the flow of air in and out of the nose, still breathing with sound. So throughout the entire practice, we'll try to keep the focus on the breath, the quality of the breath as it is now, deep in and out of the nose. Regardless of the asana, the physical position you place the body in. And then with the next inhalation, roll up, forehand position, and then tuck the toes under where they are on the earth. With the next exhalation, lift the hips up and back, we'll come into downward facing dog. Separating again through the fingers, grounding through the ball, the index finger and thumb. Stretch through the arms and roll the shoulders away from the ears, allowing the shoulder blades to move up the back. Neck long, the eyes looking either straight ahead or if comfortable, maybe towards the belly button. And then bend the knees and come high to the balls of the feet as you draw the lower abdomen in. See if you can lift the sit bones up higher towards the wall behind. And then slowly, with the next exhalation, we'll begin to walk the dog here in one spot, bending one knee after the other, allowing one hip after the other to extend towards the sky. Maybe you feel tension along the backs of the leg. Explore this by perhaps rolling the hips from side to side, continuing to draw the lower abdomen in. Maybe you'd like to roll the head from one side to the other. Again, keeping the neck long, the eyes, either looking straight ahead or, if comfortable, towards the belly button, listening to the breath. And then once again, we'll come to the balls of the feet. Again, knees bent. Draw the lower abdomen in as you lift the sit bones up and back. And then with the next exhalation, allow the heels to sink towards the earth at the same time as you roll the hip heels slightly out so that the outer edges of the feet are parallel to the longs of the mat. And then with the next inhalation, we'll just walk the feet forward, bringing the feet here about hip distance apart. Again, the outer edge of the feet parallel to the long side of the mat. Get a soft bend in the knees as you draw the lower abdomen in. Take the hands to the elbows and allow the body to hang from the hips towards the earth. Continue to draw the lower abdomen in. Breathing here to the lower lungs, so the lower part of the back. Listening to the sound and rhythm of the breath. Breathing deeply into the lower lungs so that with each inhalation, you feel the lower ribs separating, perhaps the skin in the back stretching. And perhaps at one point, you feel the body begin to soften and you're able to fold a bit deeper into the posture. So remembering it doesn't matter how the posture looks, it's how it feels. So if you need to bend your knees deeper, that's fine. Just try to find the length in the spine. And then we'll straighten out through the right leg, keeping the left knee bent or maybe even bending it deeper. Continue to draw the lower abdomen in, breathing into the lower lungs. And then wherever you happen to notice the most sensation, maybe it's along the back of the right leg or in the hip, wherever you notice, try to send the breath into this area. Eyes focus softly towards the nose. And then 
we'll switch the legs, bringing the right knee, straightening through the left leg, again drawing the lower abdomen in. Breath deep into the lower lungs. But then again, wherever you're noticing the most sensation, maybe along the back of the left leg, the hip, see if you can breathe deeply into that area. Again, eyes looking softly towards the nose. And again, bending both knees, bring the body back to the center. With the next inhalation, lift the hands, the elbows, the heart, so the body comes perpendicular to the earth. Exhale here, and then inhale, we'll come all the way up, extending hands overhead, and then exhale, release. And then we'll just come down to a squat position. So your heels are your feet are turned out, and if possible, you'll bring your elbows to the inner part of the knees. So if you have heels lifting up off the earth, what you can do is roll your mat and make something to stand on. So you can stand in support, and then you'll bring the hands together and press hand against hand, elbow against knee. So you're pressing the knees out, allowing the sit bones to sink down towards the earth, Lift the heart and release the shoulders away from the ears. Eyes focus softly on one point ahead of you, listening to the sound and rhythm of the breath. And then bringing the left hand to the earth or maybe to a block or a book, whatever you happen to have handy. And then inhale, we'll take the right hand overhead. And you can stay like that, or if you like, you can bend again the elbow and reach around, grabbing wherever you can, t-shirt, lower back, maybe the leg. Continue to draw the lower abdomen in, breathing into the back. With each inhalation, lifting heart. And with each exhalation, rotating a bit deeper into the posture. Inhale, extending hand, knee in. And exhale, release. We're going to bring the hands together in front of the heart, Anjali Mudra. And again, you can't press the knees out with the elbows, letting the sit bones to sink down towards the earth, lengthening through the front of the body. Eyes again focus softly on one point. And then we'll switch sides, bringing the right hand to earth, or maybe a block or book, whatever you have, whatever is appropriate for you today. And then inhale, taking the left hand overhead, again staying like so, or if you wish, reaching back, grabbing where you can, t-shirt, leg, whatever. Drawing the lower abdomen and breathing into the back as you breathe in, lifting the heart. And as you breathe out, rotating into the posture. Again, eyes focus soft in one point, listening to the breath. Inhale, extending the hand if needed. And then exhale, releasing hand. Once more, bringing the hands together. In front of the heart, Anjali Mudra, pressing the elbows against the knees, allowing the sit bones to sink down as you again lengthen the front of the body. And then exhale, bring your hands to earth, or meet in sitting. So you can extend the legs forward, and then we'll come onto the back, and then place the feet about hip distance apart, or a little bit wider, and we'll start by sending the knees over to the right. So you'll come onto the ball of the left big toe and the outer edge of the right foot. You can take your arms to cactus position. And then you're pressing the ball of the left big toe into the earth. So you're lifting here the 
left uh, psoas, the left hip crease up. So you might find here a stretch along the hip crease. We're stretching the psoas, the deep muscle that connects the femur to the spine. This muscle tends to hold, as you might be noticing right now, a bit of tension. And so wherever you notice the most sensation, try to breathe into that area. You should have no pain in the lower back. If you do, see if you can lift, keep pressing the ball, the left big toe into the earth as you continue to move this left hip bone towards the right. And then we'll come inhale back up to center and then exhale switching sides. So we'll come onto the ball of the right big toe, the outer edge of the heel, and then the outer edge of the left foot. So again, we're pressing the ball, the right big toe into the earth, lifting now the right hip bone up and towards the left. And then again, wherever you're noticing the most sensation, try to breathe into that area. Again, we want to have no pain in the lower back. Should be a stretch that you're finding here along the right psoas, listening to the breath. And then inhale, and then exhale, coming back to center. And then hug the knees into the body, making yourself round. And then gently roll from right to left here on the sacrum, on the lower spine. So here around the lower spine, on the sacrum, we have many nerve endings. And when you roll like this on the back, it's like giving a full body massage. And then if you'll extend the arms to the side, like um, airplane, turning the palms down, draw the lower abdomen in, and then exhale, we'll take the knees 45 degrees to the right. So your knees are not yet coming to the floor, just about a 45 degree angle. The eyes looking up towards the ceiling, so the face looking up towards the ceiling. Try to keep, if possible, both shoulder blades on the earth. And then breathe here into the back. Inhale, taking knees back to center. And then exhale, knees 45 degrees to the left. Again, keeping, if possible, both shoulder blades on the earth, drawing the lower abdomen in, breathing into the back. Inhale, taking legs back to center. And then exhale, this time we'll take the knees all the way to the right. And then you can choose to turn the head away if that feels comfortable for the neck. Alternatively, you can look up towards the ceiling or look towards the knees. It has a different effect. You might want to try out which one you like the best for today. Again, see if you can keep both shoulder blades on the earth as you draw the lower abdomen in, breathing again into the back. Inhale, coming back to center. And then exhale, we'll take the knees all the way to the left. Again, you can choose the position of the head to look away, to look towards the ceiling, or to look towards the knees, whatever's working the best for you. Again, drawing the lower abdomen in as you breathe into the back.
Inhale, coming back to center. And then taking again the arms around the knees. Once again, gently roll from side to side. Again, giving the sacrum a small massage. And then we'll come over the side and use the hands to support to come up to a seated position. So if you have a wall space, you're going to do a legs at the wall position. If you don't have that, you could alternatively use some cushions and elevate the knees so you have the legs maybe up higher. This would be one alternative if you don't have a wall space. If you do have a wall space, we'll come to the wall. You want to turn your mat so that it's the long way against the wall. And you'll start by bringing one hip right against the wall. Using the hands to support you, you'll come onto the elbows and then bring the legs up onto the wall. You can use your elbows to squeeze in the last bit so you get your hips as much as possible right in the corner of the wall. And then for today, we'll just take the arms about 45 degrees with the hands pointing forward. And then close the eyes. And bring your awareness again to the breath as it flows in and out of the nose. Release and relax the eyes, forehead, temples and jaw. And then bring the awareness to the belly button. So the area right here around the belly button. And now see if you can breathe so that with each inhalation, the belly button lifts up towards the sky. And with each exhalation, it releases back down into the body. So the belly is soft and relaxed. With each inhalation, the belly button lifts up towards the sky. And with each exhalation, releases back down into the body. So here again, around the belly button, we have many nerve endings, just like around the sacrum. And when we breathe in this way, that's so that the belly button is moving with each in-breath, And with each out breath, we're using the diaphragm in the way that is meant to be used. And this form of breathing has a natural calming effect on the nervous system. We'll sit, we'll stay here for just a few more breaths. Again, you can pause the video and stay longer if you wish. keeping the focus on the breath, the flow of air in and out of the nose. With each inhalation, the belly button lifting up towards the sky. And with each exhalation, releasing back into the body. And then again, if you'd like to stay longer, you can. Otherwise, we're going to move on. You'll bend the knees then to the body, gently roll from right to left. And then rolling to one side, again, use the arms to support you. We'll come back up to sit. 
So we'll come now again to a comfortable seated position. You can use a folded blanket or if you have a yoga block or a meditation cushion, whatever you happen to have at home. And then once again, come to a comfortable seated position. Lifting the heart away from the navel, you can roll the shoulders away from the ears, again creating space in the front of the body. Once again, bow the head and slowly roll the head once again from side to side as you continue to roll the shoulders away from the ears. And then bringing the head back to the middle with the next inhalation, roll the head up, chin parallel to earth. Again, exhale, closing the eyes, bring the hands to rest on the knees. And then once again, feel the sit bones sinking down into the earth. Imagining the pelvic floor once again lifting up and into the body like a tent. Again, imagine the spine growing tall. Allow the shoulders to release away from the ears. And then just bringing your awareness once again to the breath as it flows in and out of the nose without trying to change or manipulate the breath in any way at this point. Just observe. Noticing the breath as it is at this moment. Perhaps noticing the breath is the same as it was at the start of the class. There's a change. Perhaps noticing if one nostril is more open than the other. Perhaps noticing if the out breath is a bit warmer in temperature than the in breath. with the next inhalation, open the eyes. So we'll do a simple breathing technique. Um, and when we're, that can help you to calm the body, calm the nervous system. So we'll be breathing with, we'll bring one hand please to the heart and one to the diaphragm. So the area between the heart and the belly button. And then breathe out now until the lungs are empty. And then as you breathe in, start by first filling the lower lungs and then the upper lungs with air. So you might feel first pushing into the lower hand and then the upper hand. And then as you exhale, empty the lungs entirely. So you'll feel the hands sinking back into the body at the same time. So you can imagine that the lungs are these like air balloons and you want to fill the lower lungs. So not only here, the front of the lungs, but the sides of the lungs and the backs of the lungs. So you're filling the lower lungs and then the upper lungs with air. And then as you exhale, the entire balloon shrinks, shrinks back down together. So that's the, the image and we'll try to use as we're breathing in this way. So exhale again until the lungs are empty. Inhale, filling lower lungs, upper lungs with air. Exhale, emptying the lungs entirely. So you can focus the eyes softly on one point ahead of you. Or if it's easier for you to focus on the breath, you can also close the eyes. See what works best for you to stay present with the breath. Inhale, fill in lower lungs and then upper lungs with air. Exhale, completely emptying the lungs entirely. 
Continue in this way. As you breathe in, feel the sit bones still sinking in, plugging into the earth. And as you breathe out, keep the front of the body open, the heart open. Perhaps you'd like to imagine that you're breathing out through the top of the head. Inhale, filling lower lungs. And then upper lungs with air. Exhale. Completely emptying the lungs entirely. Inhale, pushing into the lower hand, and then the upper hand. Exhale again, both hands sinking into the body at the same time. As you continue to breathe in this way, keep checking in. Are you present with the breath? And if, you've no, if you notice that you've started to wander, you've started to think about something else, that's okay. Just notice it. And then again, come back again and again to the breath, to the present exercise. Inhale, fill the lower lungs, and then upper lungs with air. Exhale, completely emptying the lungs entirely. Here again, you can pause the video if you'd like to continue to breathe in this way. Or if you're ready to move on, once you have exhaled then completely for the next time, then allow the hands to rest on the knees, keeping the eyes closed or focused softly on the point where they were. Just return to a normal breathing breath. and feel the sensations in the body. And then with the next inhalation, we'll open the eyes and prepare for Savasana, the final relaxation. So we'll come to a reclining position on the floor, on the back, and you'll allow the legs to roll out, the little toes to roll down towards the earth. If you would like, you can cover up with a blanket. We'll stay for about five minutes or so, so it might be a good idea. And then you'll come onto the back and allow the arms to be about 45 degrees to the side with the palms facing up. Close the eyes. And then start once again by bringing your awareness to the breath. As it flows in and out of the nose. And then bringing the awareness once again to the belly button, the area surrounding the belly button. Breathing in, feel as the belly button lifts up towards the sky. And breathing out, feel as it sinks back down into the body.
belly is completely soft and relaxed. Release and relax the eyes. Space between the eyes. Forehead. Temples and jaw. Entire face. Is soft and relaxed. Have the feeling that the lips are touching. Not touching. Same time. And allow the tongue to broaden and expand within the mouth. Eyeballs are soft and relaxed. To sink to the back of the head. To rest upon the Breathe in thoughts. Release and relax the shoulders, arms, hands, fingers. Belly remains soft and relaxed. And the belly button continues to move with each in breath. And with each out breath. Release and relax. Eyes, feet and toes. Align the entire body to melt. Into the surface. And then slowly bring the awareness back to the breath. Bring the knife back to fingers and toes, hands and feet. And then extending the arms overhead, lengthen from fingertips to toes, stretching through the entire body. 
And then bend the knees up to you and just once again hug the knees, perhaps rolling gently from side to side. And feel which of the nostrils is more open than the other. Keeping the eyes closed. Turn to rest on the side of the body in the direction of the more open nostril. You can use your arm as a cushion for the head. Keep the eyes closed. And take a few more breaths here. And then as you feel ready, use the arms to support you to come up again to a comfortable seated position. Again, keeping the eyes closed, return just briefly to that place of stillness within. the hands together in front of the heart, Anjali Mudra. We'll sing Om three times together. Inhale, complete. Om. Thank you for joining me today on the mat. I wish you a wonderful day or restful sleep. Um, this practice, you can pick and choose. If you don't have time for the whole, looks like about an hour of practice, you can do some of it. But always keep in mind that the savasana, the final relaxation, is probably the most important part of any yoga practice. So. If you don't have much time, make sure you do have time for the Savasana, the final relaxation. Hope to see you again on the mat. Again, I'm Rebecca from Yoga Bhi. See you soon.